So I just made the video on the urgent call to love, but I feel like there's a little bit more I need to add to this um, because I can hear people saying, well, yeah, of course, in theory, you know, hypothetically, ideally, it would be great if we were all um, one group of humans and, and didn't see each other's enemies. But the fact is, this in the real world, China's our enemy, Russia's our enemy, whatever, whoever, those guys are our enemy. And that means we need to protect ourselves and it would be foolish to lay down our weapons of war and just remain vulnerable and let them destroy us. Well, let me just fix that little line of thinking for you. So they asked Jesus how many times you should forgive your neighbor. He said 70 times seven. So how many times are we willing to be vulnerable and let people who might not have the best intentions hurt us? If we're true followers of Jesus, he said 70 times seven. He also said, love those that hate you, bless those that curse you, bless those that despitefully use you, bless those and give and love and forgive the people who hurt you. <laughs> There's no room in there for, ah, yes, I understand what he's saying. In theory, that works, but, okay? There's no but. There's no caveat. There's no exception. He didn't say, these are beautiful words. These are beautiful theories. And one day I want you to do this when those guys are ready to do it. That's not what he said. He was talking to us. <laughs> so change happens on an individual level. We can't wait for the rest of the world to change. We must change ourselves. Change happens within. It happens in your heart. It happens when you let love in and let hate go and let fear go and let go of the concept of enemies and stop waiting for these enemies to come around. Is that risky? Yes. Jesus also said, greater love hath no man than, I'm paraphrasing, he who would lay down his life for his brother. So yes, I mean, if you're going to really take this to heart, someone could hurt you. Someone could attack you and you risk your life for that. But who else gave their life? for this message of love. He said, take my cross upon you. So that's what we got to do. That's what we're expected to do. That's what we're taught to do. And that's what we've been taught to do. So now is the time. If ever there was a time, now is the time. Okay. Thanks for watching.